Welcome aboard, folks, and welcome back to my regular viewers. My name is Rod. I'm a pilot with one of our nation's leading legacy carriers here in America. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what does it take to become the very best pilot that you can be. This will be a four-part series. This is part one of that four-part series where we're going to be addressing in, in the month of June of 2021, what does it take to become a great pilot? In today's video, we're going to be addressing the number one most important, what I like to call the cornerstone of those personality traits and things you need to think about or worry about to become the best pilot that you can be. The military does a very rigorous and strenuous selection process of its pilots, and in a particular way, its fighter pilots, and it involves a lot of physical training and physical tests, theoretical training with classes and books and knowledge and tests. And all of that is to select those who have the right aptitude and the right attitude to get the job done. In the civilian world, we have that as well. There are countless licenses and steps and tests that you have to do throughout your entire career. Right from the beginning, as a private pilot, just learning the ABCs of aviation, you will be learning a lot of theoretical knowledge, taking tests on them, whether it be written or orally it, with an examiner and your instructor that you'll be talking to, and you'll also have to demonstrate the maneuvers and procedures that you learn aboard the aircraft during what's called a check ride, which is a live testing event. The civilian career does test the individual in a different way than the military uh, does, just like they, they both have their unique, tremendous challenges. And one of them for the civilians is that there's absolutely no guarantee. It is an incredibly long-term plan, and it is in a volatile industry that is susceptible to literally global dynamics. So it really is tasking and challenging to endure through that entire process until you get on and you make it big in your career in whatever specific field of commercial aviation you might be going for. So that is one of the ways. It'll test your resilience and how long you can stick to your goals. This selection process ultimately does have a very specific objective, which is to select the pilot with the right attitude. You see, with the right attitude, we can take a person and mold them to become the best pilot that they can become. But the attitude is what allows for that to happen. We can further break down this attitude into two key traits, uh, if you would, that would put you on that next tier level of pilot. Remember, I'm addressing this question as, what does it take to become the very best pilot, not an average pilot? So we're looking here at the very best that we can be. So that attitude can be broken down into what I like to call an utopian attitude or utopic personality traits and humble. Let's address them individually. The utopian attitude or this utopic trait is an individual's capacity to seek perfection in everything that he does. So hence the idea of the utopia. You're not looking to just do the best job that you can do. You are effectively looking to be the absolute best that you can be, that can be as a whole so that you push your limits all the time and then you're shooting for the stars and you keep going. That is what I'm talking about. So keeping your shoes shined, keeping that uniform crisp and sharp and properly fitting throughout your entire career, being very aware 
and having deep knowledge of your aircraft systems, all the physical laws that govern aviation, that govern all that we do from a legislative standpoint, knowing the laws associated with the industry that you are involved in, the specific sector that may be, and hopefully in the process as well, having the right people skills, personality traits, and persuasiveness to not just lead, but inspire the crew to follow so that you can run the very best operation that you can manage. So the very best pilots are truly multi-talented powerhouses that have a single objective in mind, which is to travel as safely as possible from A to B. The mission sounds pretty simple. When it is clearly defined, it allows for you to focus. Now, the execution of it is infinitely complex, of course. The next key component of this attitude that I'm addressing is the humility, the being humble. Being humble does come from deep within an individual's soul, and it is something very difficult to teach and learn. But what it boils down to is, independent of how much experience you have, how far you've come in your career, how much knowledge you may possess in its entirety, you must always have it very clear in your mind that your next mistake may be your last mistake. It is extremely important to be cognizant and aware so that you do not make that deadly mistake. And through being humble, you will never let your guard down so that you let that mistake catch you by surprise. So you keep your guard up and you keep focus. You stay focused and you stay alert. As an aircraft commander or captain, a pilot must have this heightened sense of the potential for this deadly mistake. And through this awareness, mitigate and address the problems as they come up, whether they be mistakes, whether they be things that are just routine to every single flight. It does become increasingly more difficult to adhere to this mental discipline over time as you accrue a lot of experience, right? So if you have accrued several thousand flights, which then you have accrued even more, several thousand thousand flight hours, it does take tremendous discipline to remain focused and not let your guard down. Now, it is part of the job. It is something that we all do to some degree. And here we're trying to shoot for the moon. We're trying to really live up to the expectations to the fullest and become the very best that we can become. And while we may not agree exactly on the order uh, that the traits may line up in order to become the very best pilot, I believe we can all agree that having the right attitude is of a fundamental importance to you becoming the very best pilot that you can become. Remember that a pilot must be a safe pilot, even when he or she has just a few flight hours, right? Just when you're learning to fly. So this attitude in its both of these principles combined will keep you safe, even if you have just 10 flight hours or 50 or 100 flight hours and you're just learning. This will keep you safe because you will have the understanding that because you're starting out, your overall knowledge and experience is very small. And as a consequence, you're going to keep your operation and the amount of uh, variables and, and weather and, and complexity of aircraft that you expose yourself to on a very small margin. That way you stay safe. Now, as you accrue more experience, the aircraft become more complicated and the amount of uh, trouble you can get yourself in becomes profoundly 
larger and more impactful. And to offset that potential danger, you have the knowledge and the experience. And through this attitude, you're going to be safe at the beginning of your career through the end of your career. And folks, I know that this is a bit of a quick video for, for our channel. I do enjoy making the longer videos. I enjoy watching it. I enjoy creating it. I like to take that step further. This is a little bit of a step further in the philosophical on a bit of a quick video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have thoroughly enjoyed making it. Again, this is a four part series, this being part number one. Remember, it is extremely important to not just have an awareness, but literally have a list of desirable traits and characteristics that one should embody and aspire to possess and perfect so that they can become the very best pilot that they can be. That's the objective. Thank you very much, folks. Until next time, fly safe. And remember, stay humble and utopic.